All right, Mid-Ohio Chicane version. Um, not a lot of difference from the last one, but I did change the setup a little bit, so I thought I would do a new guide. Uh, basically, it's the same as last time. I just uh, I upped the brake bias just a smidge. Um, if you've been watching my videos, I am playing around with the camber, so I did change the camber on the right-hand side because the tire wear and temps were not even, so I did uh, reduce the camber on those a little bit. Uh, ARB is 5. I could not make 10 work. Uh, 10 is pretty good once you get down to the bottom of the tank, but on cold tires, 10 is is not very nice, but it's not a huge difference. If you want a, a more rotation in the car, try a 10, but uh, I find it a little bit too uh, <clears throat> too loose. Um, yeah, basically that was about, oh, and the toe-in, the toe-in I've increased as well, um, just to get a little bit more turn in with the front. Um, yeah, basically that's it, tall gear stack for the big long straight, you need that tall gear stack, uh, otherwise you will get eaten up. I did have it set at 12 liters, I don't think 12 liters is going to get you to the end, 13 should do it, uh, but uh, you might want to test that out, I think it will be 14 laps. So if you can get 14 laps of 12, you're good to go. Uh, but 13 will probably be what you need. So getting into it, as usual, we'll go through it in slow-mo and then run it out at full speed. So down the straight here. Third gear, don't quite get up into fourth. Uh, braking just basically uh, after the two. So if you want to think about it before the one or just after the two, just a little dab of brakes, cold tires, a um, little bit more dab of brakes. Uh, it's easy to lose it through here. And you kind of want to aim for the yellow line here. Uh, there is the curb up here, but it's not so easy to see till you get closer. You can kind of follow this um, redone pavement patch as well. Basically, just rolling in a bit and picking up the throttle as early as possible. This is a pretty good straight here, even with the chicane. Um, and just letting the car run out wide. Uh, obviously, on cold tires, you are going to uh, slide a bit. Just don't get on that grass. You can. I didn't make use of all of the track here, so uh, I probably could have got a little bit more time there. Third gear. <laughs> Leaving it in third, and you really want to get the tire right up against uh, the white line here as much as possible. Now, obviously, if you're battling, that's a different story. Um, but just opening it up as much as possible. Just a little lift. Uh, you don't want to slide out too far to the right here. You want to keep this opened up for the next corner as much as possible. And at the end of this curb, this grass is an X. It is a nasty X. Uh, watch out in your quality laps in a race. People are probably going to collect quite a few X's here because it's you want to open this up as much as possible, uh, but that uh, grass gets you next. I don't think you can get any closer than I did without getting it, uh, so just watch out for that. Third gear, again, off throttle uh, at the end. Just feathering the throttle here as you, you're getting into it, and then lifting off the throttle. I find getting on the brakes here kind of unsettles the car a little bit and off throttle is just a little little easier to handle. Wanting to get up tight against the white line here. Again, don't get it on that grass. Uh, you'll lose control for one thing. And then just a little bit of throttle just to steady the car. Keeping it tight to the curb there and getting sort of mid-track and a there's no real great marker. Uh, basically, as soon as you get the wheel straight, um, getting on the brakes pretty hard. This is, even though it's uphill, this is a pretty hard braking zone, and you really got to slow the car down. Otherwise, you're going to get real wide, and that's not necessarily good. So second gear, and again, just, just a little bit of throttle to steady the car, picking it up. You can follow this uh, redone tire patch. And then 
just sort of feathering the throttle. It, the, the corner really tightens up here. So just a, a little lift, I think maybe even a, just a touch of brake just to get the car rotated. And you really want to get onto this curb. Uh, I find it helps get the car rotated better and picking up the throttle as early as possible. Really important for here uh, to pick that up as early as possible for this big straight, big passing opportunity. So working your way up the gears. All right, big long straight. So uh, looking for the 300 board. Uh, kind of looks in real time like I'm at the 300 board, but in slow-mo a little bit before. Getting on the brakes pretty hard, pretty hard braking zone. Down into third gear and then looking for sort of the 150 between the one and the two. Uh, shifting down into second. And then just releasing the brake, letting the car roll in. And then starting to pick up the throttle. Uh, just to keep that back end steady. Well, any time now, I guess. There we go. Probably could have got on that a little earlier. And then just, you know, you can kind of follow the, the tire rubbered in patch here. Second gear, uh, leaving it in second gear. And again, not really a great marker here. Um, you could use the end of the barrier on the right. But basically what I'm doing is I'm... I'm looking for when the car starts to climb up the hill. Uh, once that happens, shifting down into first pretty hard on the brakes. And again, just following that rubbered in patch, uh, getting it fairly tight up against the curb here and just picking up the throttle slowly, uh, but picking it up uh, just to keep that back end steady and get the acceleration going. Uh, if you stomp on the pedal, uh, you are going to push really wide or maybe spin the car out, so watch out for that. Up into second, and again, not the greatest uh, markers. Um, the the break in the, the white line here, I'm going to lift. Um, cold tires, you don't really need to brake here either. It's just a lift, letting the car roll in, and then just uh, easing on the throttle uh, as you feel the car has got grip and you want to make use of this curb get your tire on this curb uh, it's really going to open up the, the next corner uh, so you don't push too wide and then just yeah easing on the throttle and shifting up into third here some point and making use of the yellow curb here as well. And you want to get over to the left to open up this next section. Um, you want to approach this, not this corner, but if this is a corner, uh, for the next one, you want to approach this with your car straight as possible. Uh, lining yourself up with this yellow curb, getting parallel to it. Um, shifting down into second, uh, a little dab of brakes just before the curb. Just you don't want to run wide here. You don't want, you really don't want to run wide here. Getting the car turned in, picking up the throttle, and again getting onto this curb or right up against it. If you are out wide here, uh, you are going to go wide and have to lift or brake. It's going to cost you a lot of time. So make sure you get that one tight. And then you can just pick up the throttle. It takes a little practice because the exit is blind. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, uh, you'll know how much speed you can carry. And you can make use of all of this yellow curb. I think you can even touch the grass here a little bit and not get an X. But if you, if you get uh, a good amount over, obviously, you're going to get an X and slow down. Not a slow down penalty, but you'll be slow because of the grass. So get on that curb. Holding it in third gear, um, looking for the 200 board here. Again, just, just before it in real time, it looks like I'm at it. Just a little dab of brake. Uh, it is really important. Uh, have your tire on this section of pavement. Obviously, if there's someone on your left trying to, trying to pass you, you're going to have to go defensive. But 
it's really important to get your tire on this to go fast um, to really open up this corner because you can take it a lot faster the more you open it up getting off the brakes letting the car roll in and just picking up the throttle just easing it on again you don't want to push wide right up tight against this curb you can probably even get a little bit onto this curb and again just picking up the throttle and you can use all of this yellow curb on exit but you don't want to uh, get onto that grass of course and then again basically no great marker here but as the car is getting up the hill uh, shifting down into second uh, big big braking zone here you gotta slow the car down this is uh, you know you're you're getting downhill now the car is gonna wanna step out so watch out easy place to lose it and sort of following this uh, redone tire patch just keeping a little throttle on there just to keep the car steady and just a little touch of brake just to get that turn in a little more getting right up tight against these curbs or even onto them uh, careful if you get onto them how quickly you apply the throttle because you can spin out um, and getting on the throttle because this is the next this is a bit of a straight here so you, you definitely want to get on the power as early as you can and then just getting tight up against the next curb and then using all that yellow curb on the right on exit so yeah one a 131 3 last year's track uh, or the last time we were here it was in the 40s so this is uh, oh I don't think I talked about that this is uh, 26 degrees so I'm using the iRacing test um, configuration so hopefully this is accurate if if the track is 40 degrees this week uh, the lap time is going to be a lot different than uh, a 131 3 uh, so watch out for that this is at 26 degrees so uh, that's that's what we got so good luck out there we'll see you on track see you next time